Hey there and welcome. My name is Hannah Gumbo and I am an artist, an illustrator, and lover of all things colorful art. Um, today we are going to learn together step by step how to draw a pelican. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the pelican is the Louisiana state bird and it's also one of the nicknames for our state of Louisiana. It's called the pelican state. So we're gonna dive into that together. Um, this video is part of the Acadiana Center for the Arts online series, Virtual Art Studio. And that is where teaching artists present lessons in all types of creative um, things, such as visual art, dance, music, and so much more. And you can access this um, online from anywhere at any time. So it's a really exciting thing. Um, but first, before we start drawing together, I'd love to tell you a little bit about myself and why I make art. So you will notice um, in the art that I create that I love colorful things. Um, I love to draw, to paint, to put things together, um, lots of different styles, but you'll notice that a lot of my artwork features animals and a lot of it features things that have to do with the state of Louisiana because um, this is the only place that I have ever lived and worked from and so I get very inspired by the different things that I see and hear and experience and that finds its way into the artwork that I create. And so um, a lot of times I like to start off with something that I've seen or heard a lot whether that's um, maybe music or culture or animals that are um, around us but then I like to change maybe the color of them or the way that it looks slightly to make it more um, of my style and something that I'm interested in. So even though we're drawing pelicans today, you'll see in the examples that I'm not really using standard colors for pelicans. Um, I'm not always gonna use a neutral white or brown. I may use pink or red or blue. So um, that's just something that I find is really exciting about the artwork that I wanna make. But just know that when it comes to be your turn to do this, that you can use whatever colors that you want. Um, so like I said, I love creating uh, artwork based on animals and aspects of Louisiana. And so I have become known for that. And I recently was hired as an artist to create what's known as an art library card. So the library is such a great resource um, for artists and for creative people anywhere. When I was a kid, I used to go to the library every week and I would check out um, books on all types of things, not just art, but travel and um, just stories that I was interested in and all types of things um, that would inspire me and again, come out in the art that I end up making to this day. So when I was asked to create a special art library card, I got to choose what artwork was gonna go on the front of that. And I presented a few different examples, but ultimately we decided to go with the pelican. And that has to do with the lesson that we're doing today. We're gonna draw that pelican together. Um, you can see here on your screen, different examples of that pelican in use. I am the type of artist that likes to see my artwork on lots of everyday things. So what does that mean? That means that my goal when I'm making artwork is not just to have it end up on a canvas in a art gallery or to just hang on the wall in my bedroom. I love that art can be put on a phone case, on a sticker that maybe goes on a water bottle or a car, um, I like that artwork can decorate a wall, like in a mural. And in this case, I think it's so cool that my artwork can be on a card that's in somebody's wallet. And they're gonna use that library card to check out books and games and all kinds of different things at the library. So I think that that is really exciting. If you think about the size of a library card, you know that that is pretty small. So I had to think about that the artwork was gonna be shrunk down to be itty bitty on a card. Um, you'll see that I am using bright colors. That's something that I love to do. Um, and I really just like adding fun little details. So because this was for a library, look in the background, what do you see? I have books flying around the pelican. Um, 
that's something that I think is really silly and really fun and I decided to add that detail in there so when you're creating your pelican today after you're done drawing the pelican you can think about what details you want in the background of that pelican maybe you want to leave it blank maybe you want to put a colorful sheet of paper behind the pelican or maybe you want to draw little doodles like stars and flying books and all kinds of silly things um, I also love that not only was that artwork on a library card, we turned it into a coloring sheet and that is actually going to be available right here in the description of this YouTube video. You'll be able to print that out if you'd like. And through the library project, I put that pelican on a frame, a photo frame that when people went and got their library card for the very first time, they could pose and take a picture. And it's got my same drawing the pelican on it so those are just a few kind of unique ways that i like putting my art into the world it's not just hanging on a wall but it's living it's living in a library card on a mural wall on a sticker that goes on someone's laptop um, and i find that, that is very exciting so are you ready to learn how to draw a pelican don't worry we're gonna go step by step and it's going to be a pelican that looks a little bit like mine but we're going to make sure we have time and we save room for you to add details that make yours completely unique all right so let's get started okay so we are going to be learning to draw the pelican that you saw in my library card design and we're going to be doing this going step by step um this is an example of one of the finished pelicans and you can see with this one I've used markers, colors, I've actually cut it out and put it on a colorful sheet of paper. Each pelican is going to be completely different and unique to you. So just to start we want to have a piece of paper. Um, I decided to go with a larger piece of white paper but you can use whatever paper you have. One of the things I'm going to be mindful of is that I never want my drawing to go off of the edge of whatever size paper I have, okay? And to begin, I want to turn my paper on the long way. So you can see that this pelican is kind of long and skinny. So we don't want our paper going this way. We want to turn it the long way. So that's what I've done here. I'm going to be mindful of where the edges of my paper end, no matter what size the paper is. And when I'm drawing this, I want to keep in mind that there are, is no erasing. Say it with me, no erasing. So I'm actually gonna be drawing with a Sharpie. You can draw with a pencil, a pen, a marker, anything you want, but remember, no erasing. And why is that? That is because you're gonna be following along with me step by step and there won't be any time to go back and start uh, erasing what we've done. So this is gonna be your first time drawing this type of pelican at least. So it may take time and the first one you make, you may hate, ah, and you wanna throw it away. That's totally fine. We're gonna to practice together. Each time you do it, it'll get a little bit easier. But if you get frustrated, just stick with it and then you can always replay this video and try again. Sound good? Awesome. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna draw the pelican really quickly. You do not follow along with me. I just want you to see where we're going. Then I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna go a little bit slower and step by step. Remember, I'm looking at where my edges are and I also am gonna do a series of dots to show where my marker or my pen is about to go just so that I, when I'm making a shape, I can be sure to make it not go off the paper. So I'll show you what that looks like. Remember, you're just gonna watch me for this one and then we're gonna do it together. So to start to draw my pelican, I wanna go towards the left of my paper, right around the center. Now with this style drawing, you don't wanna take a ruler out and measure it to make it completely perfect. We are just going to get about an idea of where we wanna go and then go from there. So I'm towards the left of my paper, towards the middle. Remember, you're not following me right now, you're just watching. So your pencils and your pens and your markers should be down. Eyes on me. I am gonna start by making a straight line 
followed by three little U-shapes. One, two, three. You can see that they look like U's, right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and do another U-shape connecting right here, and another little one on the inside. That says I. Now you'll see I made a mark here and here. Then I'm gonna make a dot here. I'll be doing this when we do our step-by-step -step process together. This is to give me a guide. I know where I'm starting, I know where I'm ending, and I know where the furthest down I want my line to be. Now I don't wanna make a jagged line like this, right? You could, that's kind of a cool look to it, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of rounded shapes. So if I say a rounded shape, I would use the same lines but I would go do a nice curve, hit the bottom, come up, and do it just like this, okay? So you can decide if you want a more angular look, you can do straight lines to those marks, or if you want a rounded look, you can do like I did for my second mark. This would be his beak. Now very quickly, I'm just gonna draw the rest of the drawing so you can see, and then we'll start over together. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. This is my pelican. Do you see how I use little dots to kind of guide my hand as I'm going? Remember, I'm looking each time I make those dots because I want to end with my pelican sort of towards the center of my paper. I don't want his wing to go all the way up. Oops. Is that going off my paper? Yes. I don't want the foot to go oop, way too big, right? So each time I go to make a line, I'm kind of putting a little dot ahead to tell myself this is where I'm gonna stop. And as we're drawing this pelican together, we're gonna be doing a lot of U shapes like I showed you. And sometimes that U is turned this way. Sometimes it's turned this way. And other times we want that to become more to a point like this, okay? but we're using a lot of these shapes and straight and curved lines to create this bird. And then in the end, we can go ahead and decorate it in a specific way that we decide that we want to do. All right, so I'm going to clear this off. Get to a nice clear sheet and we're going to begin together. So first thing, I want you to put your hands out. I want you to wiggle your fingers. I want you to stretch, maybe move those fingers around a little bit, okay? And then take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Remember, this pelican that we draw together may come out looking all kinds of crazy. That's totally fine. The first time we do anything, it's always gonna be a little bit more learning, okay? But remember, you could replay this video and try it again and again. So, we should have our marker, or our pencil, or our uh, Sharpie, maybe a pen, whatever you have that you wanna work with and whatever sheet of paper you wanna do, make sure it's long ways. Look to the edges, you never wanna go all the way off. We're gonna find the left side of our paper and go right around towards the middle, okay? This first line that we create, this is gonna be the basically the top of his beak and head of the pelican, okay? So we're gonna do a straight line followed by a series of those little u-shapes I talked about and remember no erasing okay so to start I'm gonna do a dot here and a dot right about here this just reminds my brain where I'm starting and where I'm ending and I'm gonna start with a straight line and stop okay so I'm gonna look at that and depending on the size of your paper this might be the size that you want 
I'm kind of looking for it to be a little bit longer than my pointer finger, okay? But all our fingers are different sizes, so um, it's just depending on what size you want to end up with. But I want a line right around that size. And then watch what I do. After I'm done, it'll be your turn. I'm going to go to the end of this line, and I'm going to do a series of three U shapes that are sideways. One, two, three, and stop, okay? Yours might be a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. We're all learning together. So go ahead if you haven't already and add this. Okay, so this is gonna be the tip of his beak and this is gonna be the end of his head. So I'm gonna create a U shape that's gonna be the center of where his eye is gonna go. I'm gonna make a mark here and here. I don't wanna to touch the feathers in the back. I wanna leave a little space. And then watch Miss Gumbo. I'm gonna come down and go up do you see how that looks like a large U shape and how this looks like a U shape turned on its side? Perfect. After I've created this shape, I wanna create a similar shape, but I don't want it to touch the top, the bottom, or either edge. So watch how I do it. Boom. Do you see how this is a U shape, but it's not touching the top, the bottom, or either side? This is the pelican's eye closed. Perfect. Now if you're looking at this and your line is really short, you can actually make it a little bit longer. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna look at this eye shape and I'm gonna make a mark towards the bottom but not quite at the bottom. Right around here is where I want it. Then I'm gonna start at the very edge of my line and I'm gonna twist it slowly this direction, okay? and I'm gonna be going all the way across. Look at where I'm trying to end up. Boom, okay. See if you can do the same thing. We're flipping this over and we're going all the way back. That's the top of his beak. Then I'm gonna make a line going straight down here. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the top of the beak, but I wanna go in just slightly a little bit because the top of his beak goes over the bottom of his mouth. Now pelicans have this real big shape at the bottom of their beak and it can hold fish and water and all types of great things. So we don't want a tiny little beak, we want a pretty big beak. And this is where I showed you that I'm gonna make a mark right here at the bottom. This is gonna determine how big it is. I definitely want it to go lower than these feathers. I'm gonna say here is a good size for me. Maybe yours is a little bit lower, a little bit higher. So I know where I'm starting, where I'm ending, and how low I want my shape to go. And remember when I showed you the example, if you make straight lines like this, his beak's gonna be really angular. If you want it to be a nice smooth shape, you're gonna wanna make, again, that U shape, but nice and long, okay? So let's do it together. Oops, I'm using marker so you could see a little bit of that bled through, but this is not a dot that I'm looking at. I'm only looking at this one. So here I go, I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna do a curve shape, I really like that. So I'm curving to hit this dot right here, boom. Okay, now where am I going? I'm going all the way up here. So again, going nice and slow. And now I have the beak of my pelican. Okay, so I have all this space in my paper to do the rest of my drawing. So I'm gonna do some pretty big wings, but as I'm doing them, I wanna look at the top of my paper and the back of my paper. I never wanna go over. And I also don't wanna make the wings so short that the bird ends all the way right here, right? Because we have a lot of space. So the next step is to create a nice wiggly line, and I'm gonna do that for you right here. Wiggle one, wiggle two. And this is just starting his wings, starting his back. And from this point, I'm gonna do my first wing. So I'm gonna do a dot here. I'm gonna go up. I don't wanna go all the way off my paper. I'm gonna do one right here, slightly to the right. And I'm gonna do one a little bit higher this direction. Okay, so this is gonna be two straight lines from this dot to this dot, this dot to this dot. Turn, 
Good. This is going to be one of my wings. Now the next one I want to start slightly above the head. I want it to come out maybe to about here. I want it to come back up right here and then I'm going to connect it back down. So first I'm just going to do this nice curved line coming up. Okay now I'm going to start curving. Here I go and stop. So I'm leaving space between the head leaving space for the feathers and you're going to start to see it come together just like i did feathers this u shape on the back of the head i think i'm going to try to do three larger feathers the similar method right here so watch how i do it one two three and as soon as i reach this line i stop because these feathers are behind the bird and i really like the way that that's looking Okay, now I want to determine where the back of my bird is going to end up when I do my wing. So his back is here, then the wing starts. I'm just going to hold my marker over and just glide my marker till about where I want it to end. I'm going to say right here and do a dot. And this is just a guideline that's when I start drawing, I know exactly where I want to stop. So the feathers right here, we have three three. I think for this front um, wing, I want to show a few more feathers. So I'm going to either do four or five. I think I'm going to do four big feathers on this bird. So I'm going to start here, same shape, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to stop right there. I really like the way that looks. Um, now I'm going to create the bottom of the bird. I want to start my line kind of towards the end of his beak, almost a middle point from this point and this point, and I'm gonna make a mark. And then I wanna to come to where I ended my feathers, and I wanna bring my drawing tool down and make another mark. Now you'll notice there's a good bit of a space right here. I don't want this too high up because this is the middle of his body. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna end here, but I don't want his body to just be a straight line. I wanna do a nice curve again. I don't want the curve to go all the way down. I'm gonna say I want the curve to just go right about here. So just like I did with the beak, I'm curving my line, but I wanna bring it all the way down here and slightly curve it back up. Here I go. And I'm going really slow. You should be going this slow too, just so you can control. Okay, I'm going over my dot. You can take a break if you want to, or you can keep going. I'm trying to get here. I want to slowly curve up and stop. I love it. All right, really quickly, we're going to make a foot. Your foot can be whatever size you want it to be. It's going to start right here where you ended the bottom of his belly. This is gonna look very much like a triangle. So if you see here when we did the foot, if I go over, we're basically creating a triangle. Do you see that? But when we do the toes, we're creating that same little U shape. So here we go on here. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna do one line that goes up and stop, down and stop. And instead of connecting this to be a triangle, I'm gonna do those three toes. One, two, three. And that's gonna be his foot. Now I have where I want his belly to end, where I want his belly to begin. And I'm gonna do a similar nice curved shape. I don't wanna go straight across. I wanna kinda of curve downward, so I'm gonna do a same little mark that shows where I wanna meet up with. And I'm only doing one dot. If you want to help yourself and do a series of dots like this, then you will easily guide your pen. And I'll just go and slowly go down. I'm touching every single guideline, every guide dot that I've made. Boom. This is the belly of the pelican, and this is his wings and the rest of his body. So we are about to finish this up. We know where our pelican starts. We know where his wings start and end. But the very bottom of the pelican is going to be this tail. 
So I'm gonna go slightly further than his wings right here and about halfway between the foot and the last wing, a little further out, I'm gonna make a mark. This is my favorite line to do. You can do this all in one big drawing or you could break it up. I'm gonna swoop down and instead of going straight, I'm gonna do a nice curve. You can see it right here. You see how this doesn't go straight down, it does a nice curve. Then we're gonna go out and create the tail. I want my tail to have three feathers. Yours can have as many as you would like. I'm starting here. I'm curving down. I'm gonna to touch down right here. And then I'm gonna end right here. Here I go. Going slow, I'm gonna kind of curve out. Curve back in. I'm gonna keep going. And one, two, three, and I'm gonna to connect to my feet. So this is my wing and I like doing a line through the middle because as I'm coloring I want my flight feathers to be a different color than these feathers here. So just like I have a curvy line through this one, I'm going to do a curvy line through this one and stop when I get to the other feathers. I may add a slightly longer line here just to show where the feathers end of the wings. And this is a bird I am very happy with. At this point, we can add whatever decorations that we want to it. Remember, if you find that your bird's wings are too short or if the tail looks kind of like it needs to go out, go ahead and start over with a fresh sheet of paper. But also keep in mind that when you do one each time you're learning and you're perfecting it, it's not gonna look exactly like mine and that's part of the fun. I'm gonna start decorating my pelican and I'm just gonna choose different areas to add patterning to. His belly's going to have some stripes. I may add some more lines to where these feathers are. Maybe I'll add some polka dots so that I can add some other colors in there. And then I like to add little hats on my animals. So I'm going to do a party hat. I'm going to go straight up and straight back down to make a triangle and I'm gonna add a circle on the top to make a little party hat. Another thing I like to do is to create little lines throughout my drawing that just show movement. You cannot add lines, you can add a lot of lines, whatever you wanna do. Sometimes I add little dots throughout as well. So using your pen, your pencil, or your marker, I want you to add extra little design lines, textures to your bird to make it all your own. And then don't forget to put your name somewhere on your drawing. Awesome. I hope that you had some fun drawing your pelican. After you finish your line drawing of your pelican with all the detailing that you decide to add in, you can add color. Um, you can do that with color pencils, crayons, markers, even paint. You can draw in your background. You can leave your background blank. You can also cut out your drawing after you color it. And I left white space all around. And you can paste it on another color sheet of paper if you like. I love all the different ways that you can make a pelican your own, all the different colors that you can choose. You can see here that I've added little shapes in the wings. I actually used a highlighter for this one, so it's nice bright color. Sometimes I like to keep things um, a little bit less colorful. I kept my background white on this pelican and you can see that I did different techniques like nice squiggles in the wings and then just nice black dots. So even if you don't add color, you can keep your drawing interesting by adding different um, variety of textures, some stripes, some dots, some squiggly lines. And this is the one I showed you at the beginning. Again, a really colorful one that I decided to cut out and paste on another sheet of paper. So you can see there's all kinds of ways you can make this your own. Um, 
And I do want to let you know that if you live near the Lafayette area, you can go to your local library and you can get that library card. You can just ask for um, the 2022 art library card and if they still have some, you can swap out your current library card for only $1. And if you want to get the coloring sheet of this pelican and look at it side by side as you draw and maybe just color it in and get some ideas, you can look right here in the YouTube video description and there should be a download to see exactly that coloring sheet and print it out of my pelican. Um, and I just want to thank you so much for drawing with me. I hope you had a great time. Um, be sure to come back for more virtual art studio videos. We're creating each and every week. So check them out and learn more right here in this channel. Thanks.